What is knowledge? Is it only that which is useful for economic purposes or something tied to productivity? If this is the case, can we really speak of Islamic knowledge without first questioning what knowledge is? What can an analysis of knowledge production in the pre-modern Islamic world tell us about how we conceptualize knowledge and view education today? What were the socio-cultural, political, and religious practices that facilitated scholarship in the Islamic past? Here at the Center for the Study of Islam in the UK at Cardiff University, we are seeking to uncover the answer to these questions through an exciting research project called Legacies of Learning, from Turath to Transformation. Greetings, my name is Harun Sidat. I'm a research associate here with the Legacies of Learning project. And my name is Iyad Awali. I'm a researcher in the history of Sufism here at Cardiff on the Legacies of Learning project. Islamic knowledge production and transmission is often considered a top-down process within a normative framework. Our project aims to reassess this by analyzing modes of knowledge production beyond the transfer of ideas. Legacies of Learning seeks to reassess modes of Islamic learning in the past and highlight important forms of knowledge transmission that have been neglected due to preconceived notions of what exactly useful and true knowledge is. Hence, we account for embodied knowledge, memory recitation, affective and ethical learning in the framework of Muslim institutions and spaces. This allows us to revisit questions of Islamic learning, to see it as a relational process that encompasses a variety of practices embedded within Islamic societies of the past. These questions are pertinent even today, where modes of Islamic learning are often contested. Understanding the history of knowledge production as a complex and negotiated process allows us to nuance our understanding of Islamic education today. There will also be an outreach program where we will be producing a series of monthly podcasts on themes related to the project. Here we will get to discuss what scholars of Islamic history today have to say about scholarship in the Islamic past. We look forward to having you join us. We look forward to having you join us. To find out more about this exciting project, you can visit the Legacies of Learning webpage by scanning the QR code at the end of this video or through the link in the description below.